Hi everyone, welcome back to Financial Futures. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. Today, we're diving into a topic that many couples on Medicare face, choosing the right Medicare plan. It's not uncommon for spouses to want to be on the same type of Medicare plan, and that's often the best idea. Why? Because they often see the same doctors, prefer the same hospitals, and want their healthcare services managed and paid for in the same way. In this video, we'll explore Medicare insurance options, the differences between those options, and the unique financial opportunities available with supplemental plans. So, let's get started. When you go on Medicare, you have two primary insurance options. It's rare for people to stick with just Parts A and B due to the financial risk. Most will choose one of two paths, Medicare Advantage plans, also known as replacement plans or C-plans, offered by private health insurance companies, or staying with original Medicare and purchasing a supplemental plan to fill in the financial gaps that Medicare doesn't cover. In this video, we'll compare these options across six key areas, and by the end, we'll focus on how couples can save with supplemental plans. Let's begin with perks. Advantage plans often come with various perks. These can include gym memberships, vision benefits, over-the-counter credits, and sometimes hearing aid coverage. While these perks are legitimate, they can be limited and come with restrictions such as network limitations or provider availability. For instance, a recent congressional hearing highlighted that dental coverage in many Advantage plans is insufficient, often leading to high out-of-pocket costs. In contrast, supplemental plans offer minimal or no perks but provide high-grade medical coverage. So, while Advantage plans are attractive for their perks, they may not offer the comprehensive medical coverage that supplemental plans do. Next, let's talk about providers. Advantage plans have networks of primary care doctors, specialists, and hospitals. These networks are necessary for the financial viability of these plans. However, this means that your choice of providers is limited and subject to change. On the other hand, supplemental plans offer an open access system. As long as the provider accepts original Medicare, you can go to any doctor or hospital nationwide. This flexibility ensures that you are not restricted by networks and can see the specialists you need without referrals or network limitations. Now, let's discuss who makes your healthcare decisions. In Advantage plans, which are managed care plans, your insurance company oversees and manages your care. This means that many services need pre-authorization. Your doctor can recommend a service, but the insurance company has the final say. In contrast, supplemental plans follow original Medicare's fee-for-service model. Your doctor makes the decision about your care, and as long as Medicare covers it, the supplemental plan will as well. This ensures that your healthcare decisions are in the hands of your doctor, not the insurance company. Finally, let's focus on costs, particularly for couples. Choosing a supplemental plan can offer significant savings. With original Medicare and a supplemental plan, you have predictable out-of-pocket costs, which can be crucial for budgeting. Additionally, supplemental plans often cover more extensive medical needs ensuring that unexpected health issues don't lead to financial strain. This is particularly important for couples who want to ensure they have consistent and comprehensive coverage. I'm shooting this video today. It's May 30, 2024. First up, let's talk about the time frame for Medicare Advantage plans. If you're starting an Advantage plan on June 1, it's your plan for the next seven months because these plans operate on a calendar year basis. The contracts between Medicare, the Advantage Company, and you are only valid for the current calendar year. Now let's switch gears to supplemental plans. These plans are for life. Once approved, the insurance company can never cancel your policy, except for non-payment of premiums. This is a significant difference compared to the annual renewal process of Advantage plans. One of the critical differences between these plans is their flexibility, and geographic limitations. Advantage plans are tied to a service area. For example, if you live in Denver and move to Miami, you cannot take your Advantage plan with you. You'll need a new plan in Miami. Supplemental plans, however, are portable. 
if you move from Denver to Miami, you can take your supplemental plan with you. The insurance company cannot cancel your plan because you relocated. When it comes to foreign travel, Advantage plans typically do not cover you, except for emergency room visits at zero copay. If you're hospitalized, you have no coverage. On the other hand, many supplemental plans offer foreign travel coverage, paying up to $50,000 in a lifetime after a $250 deductible, covering 80% of costs. Next, let's discuss the initial enrollment period and switching plans. For Medicare Advantage plans, you can enroll during your initial enrollment period at 65, or later if you have employer-provided coverage. There's no underwriting required, and you can switch Advantage plans twice a year during specific periods. Switching from an Advantage plan to a supplemental plan is trickier. Except for five states, New York, Connecticut, Vermont, Maine, Massachusetts, you need to undergo medical underwriting. This means answering health questions, reviewing medications, and potentially providing a doctor's statement. The insurance company has the right to deny coverage based on your health status. For supplemental plans, your best opportunity is during the Medigap open enrollment period, which lasts six months from your Medicare Part B start date. During this period, there's no underwriting required, and you can get coverage regardless of pre-existing conditions. Let's talk costs. Advantage plans often have zero premiums, but involve a pay-as-you-go system with co-pays for services. The maximum amount of pocket expenses reset annually. Conversely, supplemental plans require a monthly premium, covering most gaps left by Medicare Parts A and B. For example, the Popular G plan covers five out of six Medicare gaps, with only the Part B deductible left to you. Finally, for couples, Many insurance companies offer household discounts on supplemental plans. Depending on the carrier, you can save anywhere from 5% to 20% if both spouses are covered. In conclusion, deciding between Medicare Advantage and supplemental plans depends on your needs and circumstances. Both have their pros and cons, but understanding these differences can help you make an informed decision. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. At Financial Futures, we're committed to making Medicare planning easy and mistake-free. Thanks for watching.